Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. Over the years, the max level in Maple Story has been increased over and over. We started out at max level 200, then it went up to level 250, then level 275, and now the max level will be level 300. A monstrous task that will probably take years of grinding to achieve. So, like many other Maplers, we were wondering, what is it like to be max level? To have maxed everything the game has to offer? And that is exactly what we'll be exploring today. Meet Kane, MapleStory's newest class. Nexon allowed us to go into the MapleStory Global Test Server and prepare this character for us. This Kane is level 300 and maxed out on everything. You know, we even kindly asked Nexon if they could transfer this character to our regular account in the regular server, but they politely refused, so it was worth a shot. Just for reference, the new update that increases the max level cap and introduces a new symbol was released in MapleStory Korea last winter, and the highest level in MapleStory Korea is only level 285 after half a year of grinding, so it really takes a while. But besides having maxed his symbols, which usually takes a year of playing MapleStory religiously, even the sacred symbol, which is that new symbol that will be introduced with the new update, is already at max level on this character, which hasn't been achieved by anyone yet. This symbol is needed in the newest high level area where all high level characters will be stuck grinding in until it gets expanded again, probably later this year. At least being level 300 means you no longer have to grind for EXP I guess, but you'll probably still be grinding though, but just for mesos. However, not this character, the monsters here only go up to level 270, so they don't drop any mesos anymore. So don't aim to reach level 300 too fast, because there are no monsters in your level range yet. With the new update, when your character is defeated or killed by monsters, you will no longer lose EXP. Instead, your character will get a debuff that reduces the EXP and drop rate for a couple of minutes, and the reduction is 80%. But this timer is increased depending on your level. So in case you were wondering, if you die on a level 300 character, you'll have to wait over 2 hours for this 80% reduction in EXP and drop rate to go away. 2 hours, and logging out does not remove this debuff. But besides the maxed out symbols and max level, the equipment that this character has wearing is slightly upgraded as well. Let's check out how many stats a max level character potentially can get. As you can see, all the items have the most perfect and best potential lines or prime lines as they're called. It ain't the best gear though, like we are still using some arcane items, and for some reason this character has an explorer badge. Also the items are not flamed properly, so it's still possible to get even stronger than what we're showcasing right now. But let's go over all these items real quick. By the way, as you might have noticed, there is an empty ring slot in there. I tried star forcing my Breath of Divinity ring and well, it did not end well. But we can't complain though, this character has over 80k main stats, but no legion and only 4 link skills. So for example, its boss damage stat is a bit lower, clocking in at a mere 219%. But that ain't gonna stop us from melting some bosses. I was curious if this character could one-shot kill Sukum with just one attack, but Sukum had to throw in that one damage only buff to stall out his inevitable death. We only had the opportunity to play Kane for a couple of hours by the time I recorded this, so excuse my extremely sloppy boss fights and mechanics. You know, at least Kale's Horntail had the decency to die in one hit. Next up is Hart Hilla, and she taught me something important today. No matter how high your level is, that cage is still annoying, no matter what. Too bad for her, no one cages Kane and gets away with it. But all of these bosses are pretty weak and pretty old school, and we haven't been practicing Lotus and Damien for nothing. So together with my fiance Femke, who is also on another level 300 cane with identical equipment as the cane that I'm playing right now, we decided it's payback time for all those deaths and frustration they cost us in the regular server. We were curious if our 5th job skills could defeat phase 1 of Lotus easily, and the answer is yes, yes it does. But does it also one shot phase 2? This time the other cane you used the exact same skill, and again, yes, yes it does. And without even making proper use of the K mechanics and just spamming some skills, Lotus went down. So let's amp things up a bit by fighting Damien. 
Not gonna lie, I do love boss fights where you can just throw some skills around and boom, the boss dies. <laughs> Again, the fatal skills seem to be a bit too much for Damien. And without even using Kane's skill set to its full potential, or even half the potential for that matter, Damien bites the dust. Kane is an amazing mobber and you'll have a pretty easy time grinding. His bossing is interesting as well. Just to talk a bit about his mechanics for a second, you can empower his attacks to apply stacks, and then you can use some of your other skills to pop those stacks to deal additional damage. Some skills like this fit job skill can instantly apply up to 15 stacks, which will deal an amazing amount of damage of burst when you pop all those stacks. I am already working on a training to level 200 Kane video to go deeper into the skill mechanics and how this class works exactly and how they train, so stay tuned for that one. Also, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more MapleStory videos. In the regular server, we are still struggling with Damien and Easy Lucid, so our boss mechanics aren't exactly on point. But hey, we're not passing up on this opportunity to get repeatedly defeated by higher level bosses we never fought before. I guess this does show one thing, that it actually takes a lot of practice, coordination and skill to defeat those higher level bosses. Even with a character this powerful, defeating those bosses ain't an easy feat that you can just pull off by getting stronger, which is actually quite a good thing. I do want to do one more final damage check before our test server time runs out, and that is a dojo run. The dojo in MapleStory is a damage check if anything, and after playing Kane for a bit longer and practicing his mechanics a bit better, I gave it a shot. While the first stages are easy to one-shot, it ain't until stage 30 that it takes a bit more than one hit to defeat those monsters. We completed round 40 in 5 minutes, which is crazy, but things are ramping up at a really steep pace at this point. We have to start using more than 10% of our power. The stage 50 pink beam boss already defeated me once because I didn't realize damage reflection was a thing. Classic mistake. On the second try, I did manage to take the beam down without any accidental deaths, but stage 52 meant it was the end of our run, as I was just short of defeating the spider boss. So this is what your life could look like at level 300. I just hope that by the time you reach that, you have probably mastered those boss mechanics, and perhaps you'll have some leech and link skills as well by that point. And that was all I had to show for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Rileyas, Terry Kim, Jiju, Verries, Riser Arnu, Dries Sumker, Plux, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Simak, Safronex, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Brandon, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Knife Zoo, Chen125, Pinky Traveler, Cloudfix, Casus Rodriguez, Sir QQ Mors, Gummy Bones, Sir Tito655, Grayson Lee, and Venishua. If you would like to be mentioned here as well and get early access to new videos, make sure to check out that join button below this video. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, stay safe, and happy mapling!